Hey, there's Gabe. Well, I am a slacker. Welcome to today's vlog. It is 5.44 in the morning. I'm late because of stupid road construction. They blocked where I turned to go to work. Anyway, I'm a slacker. I didn't record last night. I took some NyQuil. I passed out at like 9 o'clock and I went to bed. But that's okay because today is diet starting day. As we go throughout the day, I'm going to show you what I am eating. Then probably when I get home from work tonight or when we're out shopping tonight, I'm going to explain a little bit more of how the diet works. Okay, so here I am in the break room. It's like 5.50. I thought I'd give you guys the quick rundown of what my diet's going to be. Uh, a lot of people when you think of a low carb diet think all meat and like the Atkins diet. People think of the Atkins diet. The Atkins diet says start off at 40 grams of carbs your first week and then go down to 35 and then go down to 30 and then pretty much plateau at 30 grams of carbs a day for the for as long as you're on the diet that's not the diet I do my plan your body when it first looks for energy first thing it looks for is stimulants such as sugar aspartame because aspartame is just as much a stimulant if not more as natural sugar or caffeine which I drink a lot of caffeine you guys watch I drink a lot of soda so when those three things aren't there when the stimulants aren't there the next thing it goes for is carbs I don't do the 40 grams of carbs, step down, step down, to, and eventually end up at 25 or 30. This diet, I'm going to go 15 grams of carb a day or less. 15 grams. Now, when you can't get stimulants, you can't get uh, carbs, your body goes to fat. And you lose a lot of weight in a hurry. First five days are going to be rough. Very tiring. Your body doesn't know where to get energy from. And you get super tired, plus I'll have the caffeine headaches, which are wonderful. Like I said, I brought acetaminophen because I'm going to have some caffeine headaches. However, this is not a high-protein diet. That is not the point of this. I do not want high-protein. I'm not really looking to super build muscle. I'm just looking to lose a lot of weight. So you'll see I'm going to buy a lot of greens. Uh, yes, I'm going to eat a lot of meat. A lot of turkey bacon, low-fat turkey bacon. I bought a couple packages of that last night. The chicken I bought is... 88% less fat than normal, eat a lot of tuna fish, a lot of meat, undenied, but I'm also going to try and work grains and stuff, or greens and stuff into that, grains are kind of a no-no. Uh, there is candy out there that doesn't taste that awful, but it is really expensive, I'll probably end up buying some of that, because every once in a while you have to have something sweet. Also, I bought a big tub of whipped cream, because whipped cream has zero carbs, and it's really low in sugar, whipped cream's really not that bad for you. Anyway, that's the basis of my diet. No stimulants, extremely low carbs, because some stuff, and some carbs aren't bad. I understand fiber carbs, I understand sugar carbs. Hope you guys understand, I'm not just doing this diet. I've done this diet like three times, and every time it works really successful for me. I lose a lot of weight in a hurry. Yes, it does come back, but it takes a long time. Hopefully this time it won't, because I'm going to go, I'm thinking maybe like a whole food diet after I get this 40 pounds off of by February, something like that, keep it going. I have a lot more than 40 pounds to lose, but anyway, that's going to be my diet. There is some stuff even in the break room. There's lunch meats in there. Uh, you can munch on that. Uh, there's greens and stuff like that. Fruits and vegetables are kind of iffy because a lot of vegetables do have carbs, but you got to figure out if they're good carbs, fiber carbs, or bad carbs, sugar carbs. Like carrots have a lot of sugar in them. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Happy London Day! Happy Veterans Day. Um, I know in a couple comments people are asking if uh, we have any vets in our family and um, yes I do. I have uh, my grandpa A was in World War II in England. That's where he met my grandma and he actually went AWOL for a little bit to marry her and uh, went back to his unit, finished his uh, time service and then he Brought her back home with him. She was oh, very old. I don't think she, oh. she was in her teens. She wasn't very old, and she left her siblings and everything and moved over here. And they had nine kids. My dad being the oldest, and then my dad served in the Vietnam War. Uh, he wasn't drafted or anything. He signed up to be a clerk, and he signed up before the draft so he could so he could kind of choose where he was going to be and and. He was doing paperwork, but then he ended up being outside of the embassy when it got uh, blown up. So he actually, if you watch the PBS 
Vietnam War special, you actually see my dad in there pulling his buddies off the road and and he saw a lot of action, which is kind of sad. He he got a couple of medals and a couple of uh, honorary medals, which was awesome. But it's kind of funny, when Gabe first met him, uh, they lived in a different state, so we uh, had to travel down there and stay there a couple days. And my dad showed him that footage, and then he showed him all the pictures that he had of Vietnam and showed him uh, all of his awards and medals. And you think cleaning your gun is enough to scare away a boyfriend? Yeah, my dad shows, <laughs> showing video of him pulling bodies out of the street is pretty, pretty scary. And then I have my brother-in-law who served in Desert Storm, and he um, jumped out of airplanes a lot. He did, he's done quite a few jumps, and then he uh, got hurt in one jump. But he was over there for a while. Um, yeah, we have a long history of vets in our family. And we're very thankful to all the vets, to all the current military, for everything you guys do. You guys are awesome and brave, and we're proud of you, and we're thankful for everything you guys do. So just know that we appreciate and love everything you guys do for us. Austin just informed me that he has put on a play, and he yeah. saved me a seat in the audience. This is the audience. And I have a special seat right here. We're going to watch Austin's play. You can't see little bear. This is, this is the play of the flower in the in the water. Oh, I'm gonna miss soda. Oh no. So I am the king of the soda. I have found the king of the soda. Okay, so we're at Walmart. We got a whole bag of groceries. Austin, yeah. what are you doing? Um, so, since I did this diet last, they've cut a lot of products. Like this brand, the uh, Sweet Freedom brand from Blue Bunny. They used to have like 10 different things that were all low carb, but now these are the only ones left and they have 11 grams of carbs and I am not going to do that to myself. That's no good. So I'm a little more limited. Oh well, I'll just eat gobs and gobs of whipped cream because whipped cream has no carbs. Uh, I'll go over more of what we bought. Let's see, we got meatballs. We got pork boneless chops. We got hamburgers. We got... A lot of the scratch Ross and Stephanie just because there's t-shirts so I can make t-shirts for the winners of the weeks and I can catch up. There's a bunch of canned chicken, a bunch of canned ham, more of that nasty diet right soda. Yeah. So we are shopping. Okay, going to end this vlog. We just got home and uh, still no tailgate. It's up there on the ground. We're going to put it on tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm feeling a little bit tired. First day of the diet. Definitely feeling tired. Uh, probably going to go over as I put the groceries away. It'll be the beginning of tomorrow's vlog. What I bought and why I bought it. Hope you guys had a great day. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.